This is a video that explains the Groundhog Day activity and it also explains where you can get all the files that go with it. The activity is for grade 7 through 12. Uh, this is the link. These are all lowercase letters and those are underscores between Groundhog Day and TR. This is the blog that I created. It's also in a Word document and a PDF. First part explains the folklore, where this came from. It also explains what a groundhog is and it talks about Gobbler's Knob in Puxatawney, Pennsylvania. And then at the bottom here it shows uh, some data and has five questions asked about that data. Here's the same activity but in PDF format. And I'll just kind of walk you through it. A picture of Phil and talks about again the folklore in the background. But on the second page it is where the math comes in. It shows a summary of whether or not Phil has seen his shadow from 1887 to last year. And then these are the five questions that are asked. first three talk about percentages and the fourth one says assume that records assume that re records will be kept from now on if the pattern above continues and you know that Phil has seen his shadow 150 times at some date in the future how many times would he not have seen his shadow at that time and explain and then five finally is a uh, ask the students to guess how often do you think Phil was correct Here is the PDF of the answer key, and not, not only are the answers shown, but also uh, an explanation of how to get them. And at the beginning of the blog, there's a link to a, my Dropbox with all the files, so if you click on that link, it takes you right to my Dropbox, and you can see these are the files that are there, the key is PDF, the um, problem in both doc and, and um, PDF. So here in the doc you can change it if you like. Uh, if you use TI Inspire, this is the TI Inspire file that will go with that and I'll show that in a second. And then here's a zip of all those files which I strongly urge you to use. As I mentioned this could be done on TI Inspire. This would be the document that you use. The first page is a just a picture and then it talks about the folklore. This is exactly the same information that's in the Word and the PDF. It's just in TI Inspire. And then finally here we start talking about the math. And then the students um, could read the problem here and then here's a calculator part uh, to be able to do the calculations. Uh, they can do that for each question. Here's the calculation for question four. Then of course their guess in five. So again here is the website that will give you all that information. Uh, if you have any questions, you can contact me here. Uh, otherwise, enjoy.